Since its invention back in 1865, barbed wire has been an invaluable tool. But over the years, uh, we have come to learn that uh, in certain instances, it can also hamper the movement of natural wildlife. Case in point, here in southern Alberta, the migration patterns of antelope have been altered because of barbed wire. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and get the three miles done today. Well, what it's called, Michael, in a, in a mouthful is the pronghorn travel corridor enhancement. The ACA in the last few years has gone around and looked at a lot of the fences in the area in prime pronghorn migration routes. And there's some real barriers to the travel here. Uh, what most people don't realize is that pronghorns rarely ever jump a fence. They can do it, but it's kind of a last resort. They like to crawl under, but they need about 18 inches to crawl under. So if that bottom wire is set too low, um, it becomes a real barrier. We met with some landowners and contact them and find out who's interested in participating in the project. I mean, it's a great cause, so there's a lot of interest for it, and it's a good way to get some volunteers out and involved. You know, this whole project wouldn't be successful without the help of countless volunteers. And you get volunteers from the hunting community and non-hunting community. In a way, you could say fences are being mended in more ways than one. The plight of the pronghorn caught our attention and so we started to partner with Alberta Fish and Game and the Alberta Conservation Association and the rest is history. So now we spend three weekends a year out here putting smooth wire down to help the pronghorns migrate from Montana up into Alberta and Saskatchewan and because they're not an endangered species but nonetheless they need protecting and the barbed wire is one of the biggest impediments to their migration routes which they've been using for thousands and thousands of years. I just think it's such a cool idea. It just seems like a really neat way to be able to spend a couple of days and give something back to the resource. Plus, it, it's uh, really enjoyable being out here, spending a day, no cell phone to bug you, and in some beautiful country, and meet some neat new people that have the same interests. So it's, it's a very cool idea. Now, since that story first aired a few years ago, I got back in touch with T.J. Schwanke, who's the project coordinator with the Alberta Fish and Game Association on the Antelope Fence Project. And he brought me up to speed and told me that over 300 kilometers of fence line has been replaced with that smooth bottom strand. Also of interest is the fact that landowners putting up new fences have opted to go with that smooth bottom strand as well. It really helps the migration of the antelope. Now, if you would like to get involved in this project and volunteer some time, they get things rolling once again this July. Check out the Alberta Fish and Game Association website for some details. Till next time, I'm Michael Short. Let's go outdoors.